Lead is down to 13 for Atlanta. Young with a nice in and out. Cephalosha, former NBA player. And a nice impact in this ball game for the Hawks, who lead by 15. Rose with the floater. He's the guy that's really doing Only double-digit scorer for the Knicks tonight. Cross court to Hunter. Tough foul on jumper is good. Go so ahead, much, but yeah, I think he's got so much potential, Hunter. You know, he's excellent on the defensive end, can chase around screens, excellent length, and I just think a wealth of opportunity for growth. Approaching five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Hawks still up double figures. A rare miss on the floater by Young. That and was back Nerland's, comes Derek Rose. Yeah, Nerland's Noel was at the cup trying to prevent that shot. Randall continues to struggle, missing again. Now one for 12. After all that work that he put in all summer, having three consecutive poor shooting games in a row now in the playoffs. Young, the lob, Collins couldn't finish it, and now they're going to say bucket good. So again, coming into game three, off of Trey Young's drives, forays to the cup, they were well oh, Where it bounces right back up through the hoop. Ogdog Bonzanovic. The reverse layup is good. He played high school basketball, working out with Drew Handel and his trainer, refining his craft, and Noel gets an easy dime. That is, he's got nine boards, Julius, and two assists. Herder on the wing, off the screen by Collins. Bogdanovich, quick catch and shoot. Man, he got rid of that in a hurry. Renee Montgomery, part of that group. 79-63. Took the words out of my mouth, making good <laughs> trouble, the famous John Lewis statement. And the Knicks, so catching up, now down a total of nine points on the three-point line, and they've got a 14-point edge at the free-throw line. It's been a while since the Hawks have taken a free-throw. He's got eight points in the ball game. Randall out front. One thing about Randall, he played with Kobe Bryant his rookie year, so he'll keep shooting. Rips through and drives. Randall draws the foul. You know, two and a half games of an abysmal struggle on the offensive end. Two for 13, but he's got 14, and he keeps competing defensively. Bogdanovich drew the... ...and pressure on them with his brilliant point guard play. That really changes the equation for coach of the year, Monty Williams. Herder, deep three from... Rose lets it roll up court. Good show by Bogdanovich. They switch. Rose kicks it corner quickly. Got by Williams and too late for Capella. Bogdanovich one more to a wide open Lou Will. Next man of the year wide open like that. Rose inside over the big man. Only thing Capella can do is foul. So just crosses, goes into his body. That's what you do. You go into the chest of a shot block. He's gone about changing his game. He said because he's gone through so many injuries, he's had to find his rhythm. He's not jumping high anymore or killing you with speed. He likened it to chess, saying he lost his queen early in the game but fought back to get one of his pawns down the board to get her back. And that craftiness is how he's changed his game. Saying them Nick's had an opportunity. Down by 14, Young into the paint. Through the contact, oh, and he says, quickly, too little. And Rose with a long hit ahead. Toppin slams it down. Obi Toppin finishing off that three-quarter. Well, Obi Toppin, as you said, gaining a little bit more trust with Tom Thibodeau. Rare minutes, but making use in transition. Here's Hunter working against Rose. Good help by Toppin. Back to Gallinari for three. Got it. Fourth quarter point differential. They have closed out games much better. And this guy is a big part of the reason why. Young inside. Collins blocked by Gibson. Seventeen point advantage. Burks lobs it up high and Toppin 
with a classy finish. Again, this is this is not two. And they've had their opportunities, the Knicks. Young out top. Great cross-court pass off the dribble. And welcome to Atlanta, where the players play. Tom Thibodeau elected to come back with Julius Randle and R.J. Barrett. They, as you noted, have been on the bench for a while, but another lob opportunity for Atlanta. Game with Cassidy, he gave a, a great response about the, the spitting incident at MSG. Saying basically, yes. listen, I, I expect... For a guy that hasn't been in the league all that long, his third year up high. Capella saying it with his chest. Uh, they're just putting it to the Knicks in the... Great all-around game for Capella, 13 points, 12 rebounds. That block right there, Randall. Barrett got the rolls. Bullock fouls Trey Young. Trey Young says, yeah, we're out here. And a speechless stoic looking Spike Lee. Your know, story about Trey Young tells you about his work ethic. Spoke to former NBA trainer Irving Rowland. He and his father were at the NBA Finals with Young several years ago. He had a teammate as Young was fouled hard there by Bullock. Left the game one night while they were he wants all the smoke doesn't he because he's not afraid to jaw at you block being physical with him defensively young throws up a shot at the end of the shot clock and barely draws iron good defense by the knicks bogdanovich with the strip I thought initially it went off of Barrett. Here's another angle. Good quick hands by Bogdanovich either way. Wow, I think he might be right. I think it yeah. might have touched uh, RJ's left hand. It is. Really gotten into a nice rhythm at the right time of the year. Hunter on the drive, got by Rose, and that's going to be an offensive foul against DeAndre Hunter as Rose took a shot in the face. Going to be the second against Hunter with 58.1 to go. Oh, yeah. Took an elbow right in the grip. 31 assists. Nothing short of impressive. Bullock brings it out. Why not Derrick Rose? He's been the only guy that scored consistently. And you can hear the appreciative roar of the crowd at State Farm Arena. The Hawks are going to go up two games to one and play game three in Atlanta on ABC Sunday at 1 Eastern time. Bullock will inbound with 7.4 to go, and the questions will rain down on the Knicks and their coaching staff about their 